dramatic pause. Yeah, I think I'll start be falling asleep then. Just, you know, just drifting off. <coughs> Hi, uh, it's Saturday night, so uh, we're back with... The weekend, but also <laughs> uh, we are back with the Blue Fox, Blue Fox, Blue Fox News. Fox yeah, Comics shut up. News. Yeah, it's because I've been talking for an hour, so I can't stop talking. I'll just stop talking now. No, that's fine. You just carry on. But yes, we're here with uh, Blue Fox Comics News, and we have some pretty cool news that I really think Simon's already been discussing a mm. little bit uh, yeah. prior to this. Yes. But um, it is very exciting, and we're very excited. And it is that. It is that, the, well, the Kickstarter for Mountains of Madness has just finished uh, about 20 minutes ago. It is uh, clear, far and away, the best Kickstarter we've ever had. Uh, the totals are 1,716 backers, uh, £39,838. So uh, we are gobsmacked, I think is the fair uh, assumption. Yep. You know, I looked at it, and I looked at it, keep going up and up and up, and you think, can it keep going up and up and up? <laughs> uh, and, and yeah, it, it, it can. And, uh, again, with Kickstarters, what you, what you tend to find is that you have a great first three days. It plateaus for a week, couple of weeks, and then you have uh, the last two or three days is really good. Uh, this one though, it's just been a it's been a mountain. There you go. It's been like a mountain shape. <laughs> Wait. There we go. <clears throat> Although with no downside. Um, so we just want <laughs> up and up and up. Uh, and the uh, and then yeah, and uh, it, it's been phenomenal with it. So uh, it's allowed us to do uh, well. It's quite as I said earlier on. In, in we, I've just done an hour stream of me talking about um, well the Kickstarter and, and Blue Fox, um, but. The money that we've raised is really will be able to cement the stuff going forward that we're going to be doing. Um, we've got quite a, a slate of books um, coming out or being prepared to come out. Uh, so yeah, so it's really good, and I'm, I'm just so happy that it's come out. Uh, so it's good, it's done so well. Well, it's really cool because we have been mentioning this week about all of the because you're saying about mm. keeping us going about all of the projects that we have coming up as well and things. Yeah. So it's all, it's exciting to see that this one has done so well because it will spur us on as well for uh, for all of those projects that we have to come this year because yeah. there are quite a few. Yeah, there are quite a few, um, both in-house ones that um, we've written uh, and also uh, ones that people have uh, come to us, submitted to us, and uh, will be publishing for other people. Um, uh, for that, I mean, there, there is uh, a submissions page on the Blue Fox website, bluefoxcomics.com. Uh, we only take uh, completed graphic novels, so um, by all means, if, you, if, if you're at that stage or you're nearing the end of sort of your own project, then have a look, send it in, uh, and we'd love to have a look. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, be cool. I think it's one, almost one of the most exciting things about the whole the whole uh, indie publishing is yeah. Uh, yeah is looking at other people's well, yeah. work. <laughs> and how much is going on out there and how much people are doing and yeah all of the lovely things that people work on and put together as well mm, yeah and it's just cool. yeah all the stories and and uh, uh and where and where they go so yeah really happy so um yeah i'm very privileged oh little comment i haven't clicked on comments oh it's, it's one of the stream elements oh, okay. stream elements you you bot, you. Um, welcome bots. Yes, indeed. Well, bot, but bots and people are, are welcome. Uh, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Uh, so, yeah, so that's just finished. Doing really well. Obviously, at the moment, we're in this two-week phase now of uh, Kickstarter collecting the money and reminding people who whose money hasn't come in yet uh, or, you know, if the card's error, then they sort of <clears throat> nag them, basically, uh, to, to change the thing. So after two weeks, um, then the money will... <coughs> Come to us minus ten percent because that's what Kickstarter does. That's what they charge, and then uh, we can uh, get going with sending the surveys out on uh, Backerkit and so on and so forth. If you've uh, used Backerkit before, then you'll, you'll know what's going on. But you, you've got it's a pledge manager. You can add extra rewards. Um, this is the great thing about using Backerkit over using Kickstarter uh, surveys. With Backerkit, it's very visual. You can say you can think, okay. Uh, oh yes, I, I yeah I, I looked at that add-on, but you know didn't do it on the uh, whilst the campaign was live. I can now add it in back again. Uh, so yeah. So there's still time. Yeah, there's still there's still time. Obviously, um, uh, yeah, and lots of different things um, you can get there, and obviously add extra books if you suddenly think, oh, someone's birthday is coming up. Yeah, that sort of thing. You know. Um, so yeah, so that's that's been going on, and obviously that's taken a lot, a lot of the week this week. Uh, you sit down and you try and think, um, you know, what add-ons can I 
kind of bring to the table to the campaign page that people are going to want and we, we we're going to be feasible you know to ship out um and yeah and just keeping people informed and i think uh this one uh it's done really well uh lots of lots of engagement i'm looking at the page mm -hmm. now 150 comments uh on on the uh, on the actual campaign page alone that's really good and there, there's countless more comments on each of the updates that we send out so uh, thank you thank you for being part of it uh, and you know asking those questions and, and really being it's, it's a two-way it's a two-way road so thank you it's cool mm. it's really really cool yeah <coughs> so what happens now uh, i feel will be many people's questions yeah with yeah. everything uh, well, that is happening. Mm, as we mentioned, uh, as I mentioned earlier on the thing, uh, I'm going to start putting pen to paper for the next Lovecraft adaptation, which will be uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth. Um, so we'll be doing that. That certainly is quite high on the list to, to get going. Uh, so, that, so that's quite exciting too, because obviously it's new writing that I'll, that I'll be doing this time. I'll be writing. Um, so that's quite exciting. Uh, also, Kickstarter wise, um, really start prepping for the Godfall um, Kickstarter. Again, it's going to be a, a smaller Kickstarter. I think it's about a forty-page book um, to start with, but there's there's more than one book, so we'll be getting that together. That's a fantasy, quirky fantasy. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it appeals to me. So it's a, I look at these things, I think, yeah, that's a Blue Fox book. We can do that. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, just um, I'm sort of looking at that, prepping for that. Obviously, talking to talking to the printers, firming up any estimates that we've got. Um, but because Backer Kit allows you to have extra add-ons and buy extra stuff, you can't. We haven't got the firm numbers yet, even when you know, even when this comes through. So there's no point going to the printers just yet and say, okay, go for it. Um, so we'll just hold off on that. Mm. We do. I think on the Kickstarter itself was to ship. The books, uh, it says May 2020, <coughs> so hopefully towards the end of May 2020. And obviously we've got the coronavirus we need to have a look at and be aware of uh, and uh, mm. keep you updated. That's all, all we can do on these things. Uh, if, if somebody, if the printer comes along and says, okay, no, we can't get the stock or, or, or can't move it to you, uh, then I just let you know and, and we, we're all in the same boat um, or not. Uh, yeah, together, you know what I mean. So, yeah, so that's going what on. What you said, yeah. You know what I said. Uh, other things that are going on, I mean, I think personally, I, I got this morning, I got, or no, yesterday, uh, the email. I, I enter competitions. I guess it is related to Blue Fox because a lot of the, I, I enter sort of short film competitions and short story competitions. And a lot of those short films and short stories actually get turned into books like like Sinners was and yeah. Hexes, a couple of the Hexes stories were. Um, so yeah, so uh, I was very pleased to see that uh, I, I've managed to get through round one of a competition, mm. uh, and uh, I've got uh, tomorrow basically to write another two thousand words. So uh -huh. that's that's kind of tomorrow, uh, but it's a it's a competition where they give you uh, the genre, a location, and uh, a An thing. Object. Yeah, so I've got uh, I've got horror, a garbage dump, and a sous chef. So that's yeah. So that, that's going to be. I'm going to sit there try and work out what on earth I can write How you with can that. Make space together. Yes, but expect to see a hexes book <laughs> where a sous chef and a pile of garbage appears um, in the well in the future. <coughs> it tends to be hard work. I don't know whether it's how anybody else works, but uh, it tends to work for me. That if, if the more restricted I am when I'm writing a story, the the easier I find it is to write the story. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Would you say when you write, would, do you like like a blank paper? And I, I um, find it easier with a blank page. Yeah. I think that if you give me too many restrictions, yeah, it's I don't know, it's not creative enough then, mm. and I can't do it as mm. easily. I can do it, but mm. I can't do it as easily as if I'm just sort of running off and seeing where the story goes yeah. and where it takes me and what happens and who says what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I find I find that easier than. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, of the of the four people we got in the, in the chat at the moment, if are any of you writers? Um, if so, yeah, how do you like to write? Uh, do you find a uh, particular time of the day better to write? If you do, uh, um, uh, yeah, just by me, it's, it's an interactive thing. Uh, throw any questions at us as well. I mean, not just anything that I ask you, but if you think of something that you want to ask, please do. Um, we're more, more than happy. So yeah, so that's happening. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. Um, other things as well. I've been writing a comic. Uh, as well yesterday uh but that's secret and i can't i saw yeah yeah i mean i don't know what's in it but i saw that it was happening yeah 
So that's a secret thing going on, which is quite exciting, very exciting, really. So I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's like when they wise. do those um, movie interviews and people are like, yeah, I'm working on a project. I can't tell you can't what tell, it is. Yeah, NDA. I've got yeah. an NDA, but I haven't. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's that, that's happening as well. Um, just trying the other projects. Obviously, hexes of all arcane rights. We're waiting for. Uh, I'm waiting for a quote. I got in touch with the book people that I mentioned last week, and they said they were going to send me a quote this week, and they haven't done. So, again, I will chase that up Monday. Um, but it doesn't really matter because we've got a good quote from one of the other people, so we'll probably go with those people. Uh, so, so that's it's on its way. Yeah. Very much. Uh, yeah. Hexes uh, is being printed. Uh, I've not heard anything. Again, I'll chase uh, Comic Printing UK up, uh, Rich, uh, to find out where that's going. Uh, but that's as far as I'm aware, it should be uh, coming to us soon uh, to send out. Um, cool. Yeah. What else? Well, I think that those are the main points, really, yeah. of what's happening right now. Yeah. Because obviously, now that you've got those sort of, because those are all in the pipeline and coming through for printing, as we say, and things like that. And so, and then obviously now that the fantastic Kickstarter is finished, mm. um, that's going to be taking up the next yeah. Next batch of, of time. And I think according to our exciting board. Um, <coughs> yeah, Robin yeah. Three. Yeah, prepping for actually prepping for Robin uh trade as well. Yeah. So Godfall will be first, but then I can I can start actually doing the page for Robin three. So I might be doing that. I don't yeah, so that's what we'll be doing. Yeah. And lots of yeah. Lots. loads. I'm just trying to think, was there was something else that sprang to mind oh yeah i was going to say uh, earlier on this week as part of the um the campaign we had a message from somebody saying i'd like to be can you can you draw me in your book um and uh, I'll, I'll pay you some money to be drawn in your book which is very nice and stuff <coughs> but slightly weird uh, and because it was, it was a lot of money and uh, so it sort of came back out and, of the blue yeah it was out of the blue so we sort of uh, I, so we sort of left, and I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll send you over a contract to uh, to sign." Um, and I wanted to, I just wanted to leave it a couple of days, uh, and so I did that. Left it a couple of days, drew the contract up, sent it over, and, and he pledged. Uh, sorry, he they they pledged to the uh, to the um, to Mountains of Madness. But then I noticed when I chased them up about it, uh, they cancelled their pledge. So I mm. think, yeah, I think it's just one of those things. And I think we're all probably done it before you look at something think yeah that's a really good idea i'd like to be part of that uh, and then you, you sort of two we'll say one or two days later you think yeah actually i was just being very keen mm. uh, and i think I'm, I'm i'm pleased yes. that he didn't take it up um yeah because yeah it, it just yeah it, it was going to be interesting uh but yeah but mm, uh, yeah. it also got me to thinking about you know maybe there was an opportunity there to say that we're, we're drawing these books beforehand because a lot of the time in kickstarter um or with our books, when it comes to Kickstarter, we, we offer as one of the pledges to be in the book. And they're generally quite um, popular, pledges, yeah, um, yeah, which is nice. Much. Um, but the only problem with that is that the way we do Kickstarters is that we, we've, we've drawn the book. So we would have to have you know, said to the artist, don't draw these things or whatever. Um, so maybe what I might experiment with is actually having a page saying that we, we, we're drawing these books. Does anybody want to, you know, is anybody interested in sponsoring being that character? I yeah. don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know whether uh, has anybody uh, listening. Um, have you heard of anything like that before? Uh, obviously, uh, we'll back it up with con with agreements and contracts and stuff like that. But I, it's a possibility. Just saying, you know, we've got these got these comics here uh, coming in the pipeline. Would you be interested in sponsoring your visage in that comic? Yeah. Um, obviously, cool. we'd let you know. Yeah, I think I think it might be a, a way of a sensible way of going forward, uh, and people, yeah, people might pick up on it. Obviously, yeah, we just need to work out the best way of doing that and see whether yeah. it, see whether it's popular as well. <coughs> So yeah, so that that happened uh, this week as well. Um, uh, not sure. I'm, I'm betting there's really large things I'm just forgetting about. Loads <laughs> and loads of things. Yeah, there's a couple. There's a few. Um, I backed a few Kickstarters this week. Uh, I have to say, which is good. Um, and uh, so there's there's one called She, um, which uh, Tyler James uh, is part of, um, is running. Uh, of Comics Tribe, and uh, we do this thing where reciprocal. I, I send a message for him, and send a message for me. Now uh, that's going really well. It looks like a nice book. Um, so yeah, and one stay awake, um, which is still going. Again, that's our friend Jerry. 
uh, and uh, I, I shouted out his campaign. And he said, came back to me and said they had a real spike. He had a real oh, spike good. after we, um, yeah, Yay. after we messaged. That's mission. great. And that's, that's really nice as well. And there's another one uh, called, I don't know what it is, Camp VAO7, uh, which um, a friend of Jim, uh, James McCulloch, uh, who uh, we know um, he lives in Scotland. We see him at the Scottish Comic Cons and stuff. Uh, he's got this is his new book. He he writes it, uh, and yeah, it, it looks good. It's got twenty three hours to go, and it say it's called Camp Space VA zero seven. Uh, and what I should do a dystopian thriller. A dystopian thriller, and who doesn't like one of those? So I'm going to post that if I can. Not press the wrong thing. Is that going to work? Um, so yeah, so by all means, have a look at that uh, in the uh, okay. in the chat. <coughs> so those are the things that I backed. Um, we were looking, weren't we, through the through the Kickstarters? Yeah. Well, uh, there are some. Are you asking me if yeah. there are some that I would like? <laughs> yeah, there are some. Um, I I I was trying to find some that might appeal to. A I don't know how to say this tactfully, to be honest. No, I think truthfully, um, to go. I was trying to find some that weren't just about hot women being hot. <laughs> so I, uh, which is a fine thing. There are lots of hot women, and hot women can be hot, and women can be hot. But it was, it was, it was just looking. I was just scouting. I, I, I was interested to see how many of these that I might be able to find that and i'm sure they're not just about women being hot but you know there's a there's a there's a big impression of yeah. lots of them that are just you know really hot women being attractive yeah um and that's fine but it's also nice to see it, other things yeah <laughs> so, so so i was looking for them but to be fair i did i did find some and um it's just because I haven't had time to actually like, yeah. dig properly deeply this week, but I'm going to take some time tomorrow and have a look because um, there were some really uh, fun, interesting looking ones yeah. that came up, which was really nice to see as well. Um, it, a, bit, a bit more of a mix of, mm. of things. So, yeah. Yeah, not tactfully said, sorry. No, I, I, it's something worth saying as well to, to people who might be interested in, in sending us submissions. Um, mm. Blue, Blue Fox, I think... I'll, I'm sorry. I'm just going to post another link, which is to uh, a web comic which somebody mentioned the other day. One of our things. So yeah, which looks really lovely. Looks really good. Yeah. So I've posted that. That there. was a really nice suggestion. Yeah. Uh, so a couple of rules Blue Fox really have uh, is is no no overly sexualized bodies, be it male, mm. female, whatever. Yeah. Um, and the second one is no nudity. So we, and that, that so if you're thinking yeah. of sending us books. That's kind of the two biggest criteria we have. Obviously, it's got to be a good story and good art, but yeah. Yeah. but it will. It, I, I won't. No, I certainly won't even look at it if, and I know Mary I won't either. Uh, if it has new, new, well, it, it, it just has nudity, and if no. it has um, um, uh, blah, 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 uh, over sexualized body yeah. types, because they're just not needed. I want good stories. Uh, I want the Blue Fox story to be a good story, and it, to it to be. Sit, um, you know, sit by itself. <laughs> sit by itself on the stairs. I don't know. Sit what by it's, I think what you're trying, <coughs> I think what you're trying to say. Yeah. Is, so when I'm looking at them, <laughs> I'm just yeah. going to rephrase your. Please, yeah. Um, when I'm looking at them, I think it's just that um, there are also there are lots of comics out there that if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for really sexy people and that they're mm. naked, you've got a plethora of those. There are loads, and there are loads of very fine examples of that mm. um which is fine like i say they they do it's not to say that they don't come with great art and great stories yeah. it's just that um there are a lot of those available and i think at blue fox we do look to be a little bit different yeah um uh, a little bit more i think um open and i personally would say like a little bit more inclusive so it's oh, not yeah, just much. yeah people who are really really attractive saving the world it's you know it's it's sort of like it's everyone um yeah. so i think that's i think that's what we're looking for is just to maybe stand out a bit more um in that way as well because yeah. obviously there are loads of places that you can go for those types of stories or that type of look mm -hmm. um you know and that's fine 
but uh, we we're just a little bit different. And I think if you you know all of all of you who are out there who have backed any of our campaigns will will know, and maybe that's something you're looking for as well is something a bit different too. Is that um, you know certainly Simon always does look for. Uh, you have quite particular tastes in some way about about art styles and things, which is fun because yes. it, it means that you do get to look for something um, that's that's a little bit different, but equally, you know, just as good. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. yeah. So I think that I think that's really that's what we look for. Um, yeah, art style. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. Art style is good. And the other thing you mentioned it there is inclusivity. Mm. Um, yeah, uh, certainly you'll find a lot of the books that I write. Uh, will have strong female characters in them, uh, lead characters as well at that. Um, and uh, also um, just trying to bring in the full, yeah, everyone really, inclusive of, of race yeah. uh, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I tend to write stories which, you know, uh, where people just, you know, are, are the plethora of different types of people that we have. Mm. And the stories aren't because you know they're they're any particular type of people. They just yeah you know, the, these stories happen to just be happen to these people. So that's the that's the thing that we yeah. do. Uh, yeah, I could probably explain that better if that's... I had about an hour. Yeah, but that's what we aim for. That's yeah. what we aim for, and that's what we aim for. <coughs> um, so yeah, so I think I'd always say that there there, there are too many white males <laughs> in you know in comic books and 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 stuff. So I. I you know, I'm I'm here and so Mario definitely here to redress that balance and just bring these good stories uh yeah. with good characters. So mm. yeah, so, um, that's important to say. I don't think I've ever said that sort of obviously on stream or, or to think, but that is yeah, one of yeah. the main things that we strive for. Um yeah. and uh yeah, yeah, that's us, that's who Blue Fox are. Very much. So yeah. yeah, yeah. But I will bring to the fore the Kickstarters that I did find. Mm. Um next week in our streams yes. because there were some really interesting ones well they looked really really interesting the art was really really nice uh the story sounded cool um because i do always i i'm the same as simon i because i write so i always look for uh it's got to be story and art it can't just be art for me it has to be both yeah. so um so that's something that i really 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 look for as well yeah. and there are lots of people out there doing these things there are you know it's not just us there are loads yeah um and there are lots of good things to be found so equally again on that you know if you have any suggestions if you have any shout outs um yeah we'd love to hear them yeah yeah because it's fun to find you know what everyone else is finding out there as well yeah certainly if, if you've backed yeah backed a project and you think this is a really good project uh or you're running a project please send it mm. in we'll have a look <clears throat> but bear in mind what we've just said and uh, you know it's uh it needs to kind of hit those uh hit those marks yeah. uh but yeah i mean the good thing i mean certainly there's a good lot of indie books in the UK, there's a there's a, a ton of great indie uh, artists and obviously professional artists as well, um, and and writers and you know, it's it, we have a good um, good load of people in the industry and also obviously creating stuff which is their passion. So yeah, uh, yeah so it's good. Oh, there you go. I wasn't expecting to talk, talk about that tonight. No, neither was I. No, that's, that's what good. happens when it's live. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, my cough. Uh, so yeah, so that's kind of it. I mean, I, I have been talking a lot. Is there, is there anything you can think of that I can think of loads of things? Yeah, but, you know, relevant. Um, yes. Uh, no, I think that's covered kind of many things. I think just again to say, just a massive thank you to everybody who has um, supported the Kickstarter for Mountains of Madness. Mm. That's been really phenomenal. Uh, like you said at the beginning, that's just blown us away. That's that's just a fantastic yeah. show of support. It's lovely to have had everybody um, back it, be involved, like you said, make comments. Mm. It's really, 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 really cool. Yeah. And just thank you very, very much yeah. for supporting us. Yeah, big thanks, always. Mm. Um, yeah, we, we can't do any of this stuff without you, without people buying it Sorry. and uh, supporting us. So thank you. Uh, yeah, well, I'd say it's going to be a slightly shorter one because obviously I was waffling for a whole hour before. Uh, so yeah, thank you. Um, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I hope you're well uh, and keeping safe and keeping away from people uh, in this uh, current situation. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully things will, will turn at some point soon. Um, but uh, certainly, we're going to keep going. We'll be here. We we're not here on Sundays, but we're here uh, every weeknight from eight to eight thirty. Mm -hmm. Talk about a range of different uh, subjects to do with comics. Um, so please, yeah, uh, join in. If you're watching this on YouTube, please uh, subscribe, like the video, subscribe to us. 
uh, follow us on Twitch and uh, yeah, obviously um, follow the uh, Facebook um, yeah Facebook uh, Blue Fox page, and you should be notified of you know, sort of when we go live. So yeah, cool. Thanks, David. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, David. That's really good. Um, thanks for coming on and staying on. That's really good. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you Monday um, for. Can I remember what Monday is? One isn't day. It, isn't one it day. news? Uh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. It's, it's news. comic book news. Yeah, that's comic the book one. News. Thank you very much. Yes, yeah, so comic book news. Um, so, yeah, so we'll be uh, getting, um, seeing what's going on uh, over the weekend and, uh, yeah, bring that to you. Yeah. Have a lovely Sunday and we will yeah. see you on Monday at 8 p.m. Yeah. See you then. Thanks okay. very much. Dave's been, uh, Dave's been watching whilst cooking, so good timing. Good. Oh, excellent. Have a lovely food. I hope you yeah, enjoy your dinner. Okay. <laughs> See you soon. Thanks very much. Um, bye. bye.